Hi, my name is Jamila Damiani, and thank you for tuning in to my channel, Lifestyle is Key, where I'll be bringing you the Philadelphia and South Jersey region to your fingertips. Now today, we're going to be discovering one of South Jersey's most well-known towns, Cherry Hill. Let's go. Let's start with a few super relevant facts about Cherry Hill, New Jersey. As of 2020, Cherry Hill has a population of 74,553 residents. It's located near Pensacola to the north, Voorhees to the south, Haddonfield to the west, and Marlton to the east. In proximity to Philadelphia, it is 20 minutes traveling via Route 38, if you're traveling to Atlantic City to Cape May, expect to travel an hour to an hour and a half. And if you're looking to visit New York City, one hour and 45 minutes, and to visit the museums in Washington, DC, expect to travel two hours and 40 minutes. And according to the National Association of Realtors, Cherry Hill, New Jersey's median home listing price is $369,000 to $405,000. A couple of things I love about Cherry Hill are the charming homes with ample amount of space to grow a family and the access to activities in and around the neighborhood. Cherry Hill is what I like to call an active suburbia. There's no sleepy bedroom community here. It's hustling and bustling and a great place for active lifestyles. Cherry Hill has over 15 communities to choose from with 51 public parks and three county parks with basketball and tennis courts, walking paths, athletic fields, and so much more. Cherry Hill truly has something for everyone. Did you know that Cherry Hill was home to one of the first malls on the East Coast? But not only that, it was so well known for its thoroughbred racetrack right here. Let's check out where that racetrack has been and where it is today. Here's an interesting historical highlight about Cherry Hill. Opened on July 7, 1942, the Garden State Raceway served as great local entertainment but also attracted visitors for miles. The Garden State Park's success sparked a wave of entertainment-oriented growth and development in the former rural community of Delaware Township, New Jersey, which is known today as Cherry Hill Township. In 1977, an undetected fire raged, which unfortunately caused three lives to be lost. Until a portion of the stables were rebuilt, no races were held, but thoroughbred training ensued. By 1985, when new construction was completed, races began again. But although races continued, the track never regained its high status, and by 2001, the track had its last race and earned 58 years of success. In 2003, the property sold to a redevelopment company, for a mixed-use town-centered development, and today you see many thriving retail and residential areas. It's impressive Cherry Hill's turnaround. They didn't allow their land to go wasted. I think it's fair to say that Cherry Hill was a leader in development then and now. Although Cherry Hill is highly developed, a small slice of heaven can be found by way of small business. Let's go in and see what they're all about. We are here in Cherry Hill and one of my favorite places to eat and shop and I have Mr. Croce Sr. with me at Croce's. Mr. Croce, yes. please tell the audience who you are and a little bit about your shop. Okay, uh, my name is Joseph Croce. I come from Italy originally. First I was in a restaurant business, but now I'm in an Italian specialty store and prepared food. We make a little bit of fresh pasta, prepared food. We have Italian daily with special sandwiches. Uh, and then we have all the imported stuff from Italy on the shelf, which stuff you can't find it unless you go like New York. But you don't have to go to New York anymore. Just come to Croce, you'll find everything here. That's right. Right, come to Croce's. That's right. 
So not only do you have items that you can get to prepare mm -hmm. your food at home, yes. but you have prepared individual prepared items individual, yes. and family meals. Yes. And you offer catering? Catering, yes. All you have to do is pick it up because we don't deliver, but we, we can prepare anything for any parties. We have chicken trays, lasagna, stuffed shells, sausage and pepper, whatever you prefer. So I think what the viewers should do is go to the Croce's website. I'm going to drop that into my description and then make sure you come here and check it out. So I have to say, I need to go and shop. Can I do that? Yeah, sure. All right. Yeah. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Grazie. Let's sip over to one of the most well-known coolest parks in South Jersey, Cooper River Park, and meet up with my friend Jermaine Howard of Air Done Right. Hey Jermaine, how are you? Hey Jamila, oh, what's my going goodness. on? Oh, this, this is going on. Thank you so much for meeting me today. It is a beautiful day. Now, I know you personally and professionally. Can you please tell the viewers who you are and what it is that you do? Well, I'm Jermaine Howard. I own Air Done Right, which is an HVAC company. Uh, we specialize in light commercial, but also home residential uh, heating and air conditioning systems. We install, repair, and replace almost every single system that, that you can find in any home. Awesome, and how long have you been in business and what areas do you service? So we've been in business for about 10 years now and we service most of the Philadelphia surrounding areas to include parts of New Jersey uh, that are close, closer parts to uh, Philadelphia. Awesome. Okay, so you know I'm a realtor. Sometimes when I go to take my clients to see a home, we look at the HVAC system. What are some of the things that we can look for to kind of determine the condition of the system? So normally, uh, to an untrained eye, you really couldn't tell. So my recommendation has always been to, when you are finally knowing that you want to buy that home, to have a licensed HVAC contractor come out and take a look at it. We can look at those things and forensically understand how well the system was installed. We know about the age of the system. Once you've signed that dotted line and you own the home, then you're on the hook for everything. So we want to make sure that that's something that can be prevented if all possible. Now let's talk about the sellers. Do you have any simple tips for sellers to take care of their systems? Most of the time, we like to have our customers uh, sign them up for seasonal cleanings, uh, which are mostly done in the spring and also in the fall to get them acclimated and get them ready for the higher usages, which are normally in the summer months and the winter months. And also just as a regular regimen of every 30 to 45 days or so, just mark it on your calendar on a smartphone to just change your filters. All right, Jermaine, thank you so much for joining me today. I genuinely appreciate it. And I got a hug. Can we get a hug? Absolutely. Oh, it's so awesome. It's been my pleasure. Oh, thank you. I am going to get going now and I'll talk to you soon. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel, Lifestyle is Key. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss my next video featuring the blueberry capital of the world, Hamilton, New Jersey. If you're looking to learn more about what Cherry Hill has to offer before relocating, please visit these few links provided for you in the description below. Until next time, ci vediamo presto. That means talk to you soon. Ciao.